Man, what it is, YouTube, you already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Miss Court, and today we back with another reaction video, man. So listen, if you're new to the channel, bro, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I already just told you who I was, you feel me? Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, man, and turn that bell. And as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be reacting to Dude Dennis reacts to Casanet, saying that he ain't really got no real for real. <laughs> he ain't really got no unspoken real for real, basically, you know what I'm saying? So uh, let me re let me um reiterate myself. I am Miss Court. You feel what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna need y'all to do right now? Go in and hit that like button for real. I'm gonna repeat myself because repetition is key. You feel me? Go in and hit that subscribe button. Stop what you're doing. Turn on that bell to be notified to be bangers. Cause I'm telling y'all, I'm back in Miss Court time, bro. This is Miss Court time. Forget y'all time right now. This is Miss Court time. You on my time right now. You feel me? So go in and hit that subscribe button. No cap. Hey, look, we gonna get right into this video, man. You know what I'm saying? Roll the 4K. So, hey, look, let's get it. We at 3.82, you know what I'm saying? We we climbing, you know what I'm saying? We climbing a little bit. So let's go ahead and hit this 4K, man. Look, I'm telling y'all, a year from now, I want to double 4K, you know what I'm saying? I want to double these numbers, you know what I'm saying? Like, if a, from a year from now, I need to have at least 40K subs, you know what I'm saying? 40K family members, you feel me? That's how hard we from the grind. So we're going to get into this thing. I ain't going to hold y'all up too long. Because I low-key got to take a shit. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? I ain't going to cap. <laughs> okay, good fucking question. All right, let me break it down right break now. Down, break it down, cuz. Fucking TikTok butchered that word. They, they fucking yeah. killed it. Right, they like, did. it's not even in my, like, it's not even in my thing no more. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna tell you what Riz started. Riz started with me mm -hmm. and a few of my friends from back home. Mm -hmm. We only used to say that. Like, imagine like five, oh, that's like ten people just saying Riz and never, never got out or nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, um, and shit like that. Then I came on Tik, I mean, I came on Twitch. And I, I was publicly, I was publicly saying it. Like people don't really know where it's from, but I was publicly saying, I was publicly saying Riz on like what it meant. Uh, I kept saying like, yo, I got Riz, a W Riz. At first, my chat was like, bro, what the fuck? Like Riz, that shit sound mad weird. So let me define it for you, Riz. Because everybody right now the trend is unspoken Riz. Okay, mm -hmm. unspoken Riz is like a thing where it's like, okay, you attractive enough to where you don't gotta say shit and a girl would think. Dude. That's not really yeah. Riz. That's not, matter of fact, that's not Riz at all. Ah, okay. Riz, in my opinion, this is how you define it, right? Riz, Riz is, no, this is the official definition. Riz is when, like. What? Because everybody, right now the trend is unspoken Riz, mm -hmm. okay? Unspoken Riz is like a thing where it's like, okay, you <laughs> That nigga do it like, huh? hold on, bro. What you mean? Unspoken Riz ain't really Riz. Well, what you mean? Up to where you don't gotta say shit and a girl will think. That's not really what? Riz. That's not, matter of fact, that's not Wait, Riz at all. Uh, did okay. he say Duke? Did he say Duke? But I swear to God, I swear to God, I don't, look, me and Duke be here with it, bro. I swear, I swear, I had to run it back. Cause I was like, no, I'm glad. No, I didn't run it back. Duke ran it back. I'm glad he ran it back. Cause I'm like, wait, did he say Duke? Well, I'm thinking he said dude at first, but he said Duke. You know what I'm saying? So we be connected, bro. Y'all gotta hit. Y'all gotta hit a subscribe button for that, man. Y'all got to, bro. But let's get back into it. Wait, there's no way. There's no way, bro. Say Unspoken reads is like a thing where it's like, okay, you attractive enough to where you don't gotta say shit and a girl will think. Dude. That's not really. Yeah. Nah, he Riz. said dude. That's not. Matter of fact. That's not Riz at all. Ah, okay. Riz, in my opinion, this is how you define it, right? Riz, Riz is, no, this is the official definition. Riz is when, like, you talking to a girl, mm -hmm. right? And at first, shit is not going your way. Mm -hmm. Nigga, mm -hmm. shit ain't going your way. Nigga, you, you don't know what the fuck gonna happen. It's looking bad for you, my boy. <laughs> it's looking hard. It's looking terrible for you. You down back tremendous. Until yeah. you spit game to where, like, you're risen, you're, 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 you're Riz is just like, you're risen him up. Yeah. So we're like, okay, wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Shit is starting to go your way. Yeah. Like, it's from like going from like a dead end mm -hmm. to where, yo, you're just so swift with your words and what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So we're like, the girl's like, okay, like, who it is? Like, let me talk to him. And then after yeah. like, shit goes your way, oh yeah, I risked her up. I got mad risked. Like, that's yeah. risked. Like, you going from <laughs> a, a crazy scenario yeah. to where like, you nigga, you not fucking. And then, like, you so sick of your word. Damn, why I always gotta be, why I always gotta be having sex, though, bro? See, that's our problem right there, bro. That is our problem. We thinking, he said, oh, bro, I don't even want to explain it, bro. Should I explain this to all my jits watching this right now, bro? When you try to raise up a girl or get with a girl or do anything with a girl, bro, don't just do it with one 
outcome. Now I can see if you out doing your thing, having your fun, you feel what I'm saying? But in order for you, I'm gonna put y'all on game, bro. If you wanna get in the pants, and I'm just being honest with you, I'm, I, look, I grew up being honest, I grew up keeping in a buck with my with anybody in my family. Like I grew up keeping it a buck, especially my younger cousins. I'm like the oldest cousin. And I, you know, I keep it a buck with all of my folks. I'm telling, I be telling my telling my people, I'm like, hey bro, listen, man. Listen, bro. If you got one goal and that goal is to get in a girl's pants, you can't let that be known. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't let that be her perception of you. You know what I'm saying? You want to make it seem like you really want to be with her. You know what I'm saying? You want to salsa up. That's that. That's rich. You want to salsa up, but don't be like, don't make it your attentions. Oh, I just want to get in your pants because you're not going to get in the pants then unless that girl just on that same type of timing you want. You feel what I'm saying? But normally, if you got a girl that got standards, if you trying to get with a girl, do something with a girl that got standards and she pretty as fuck and she got she, this and that going on, you, you need to make it seem like, hey, look, I want you, but really, I don't want you. And I'm just keeping it a buck. That, that's just how it is. Now, me personally, I don't do that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm a grown that man. I'm too too grown for this shit. Been too grown for this shit. But if you want to get with a girl for that reason, you can't let that be your main intentions. Like, you can't let that be shown or let that be known. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you want to get with a girl and you just want to wanna rizz up and you really like her, do that. Rizz her up. You know what I'm saying? Because all the good stuff going to come with it regardless that's that's W is. You got the girl you want. You getting all that extra stuff with it, like, and she's stuck. You feel what I'm saying? One thing about girls, girls are emotional beings, bro. You get them hooked, and you and you be and you want this girl with you, and you got great intentions, and you want her to have great intentions with you for the long run. Do that, bro. But if not, do what I told you the first time. Real shit. You end up fucking on you. You got rich. That is an underrated thing because yeah. it's one thing to like walk into the bar and yeah. the first girl that looks at you and gives you a smile, you're on her yeah. and you get her and she and you, you hang out like, with her. If, you, if, you, if you're very attracted and you walk into a bar and the girl's just on you naturally, right. that's that you, you don't have no you're not risen her up. But to yeah, meet yeah, a girl yeah, who yeah. is it's a no and she's not fucking with you, and yeah. then just through showing her more of your personality or whatever yeah. kind of game you got nah, yo, to yo, a fact. yes, I mean that's that's an incredible thing. That's, that's the fact. beauty of being yeah. a man. Yeah. That is, yeah, Hey, but look, hey, hey, look, 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 me, I don't have ribs. Never have, never cared to have ribs. Facts. All right? I, I don't, I don't have ribs. What I just said is facts. Okay. Nigga, if you can, if you go up to a female and she ain't feeling you at first, and then you keep, y'all keep, y'all keep talking. Telling you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep talking okay. and then at the end of the night. You done persuaded her to change her whole mindset just yeah. on getting to know you and, and your way of words. Mm -hmm. Riz. You riz the Exactly. The you done changed her whole perception. You feel know what I'm saying? I have to say about that, and I've seen it. Uh, I've seen it with my own eyes after I, I first heard the word riz. All right? the, it, it's a difference between having riz and being overly persistent yeah and not accepting the word no yeah oh God. you know what i'm saying oh uh, like because i don't seen niggas in real life think they had riz over the fact that nigga you dead ass harassing the fuck out this and then the female gets scared and then she, of course she's gonna give you her number or give you a number or give you her number and then change that shit because she's scared it don't mean you got ribs when you overly doing something. A female becomes worried and scared. Females are smart. They ain't just gonna be like no, cause it, it be some grimy ass men that's out there. So if you think you got ribs and you just being overly aggravating, bro, and a girl give you her number, don't think you got ribs, bro. Like it, it, you can tell when a girl really fucking with you or not. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. But that's exactly what Duke finna say. I just wanted to say it before him, cause it's my fucking video, nigga. Bitch, right now, like. Nigga, you is harassing her. No you cap. not you not taking no for an answer at this point. Nigga, you harassing. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's two different. It's two different type of like, bro. You you gotta know the difference when you know what I'm saying. You gotta know the difference between riz and harassing the motherfucker to the point where nigga they gave you they gave you they they number so you can lead them along, bro. Told you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No cap. So like, that's a it's a big difference. Like in Miami. Niggas was following women from one end of the strip to the next. Point A, point B, point C. And then when they finally got the number out for sympathy, the nigga was saying, oh, I just raised up. 
No, mm -hmm. you just followed her for 16 minutes. Mm -mm. You heard me, like, bro. You followed this. It's shit weird, bro. And look, if if it's any nigga that's watching this video right now, bro, and I catch you doing that in real life, bro, and I see you doing that in real life, bro, I'm recording your ass. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with the video, but just know your ass getting recorded. And if I want to do something with that motherfucker, I will. You know what I'm saying? Cause that shit is not cool, bro. Same thing with women. Women don't don't harass men. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. Y'all want equality? Okay, we got equality. You know what I'm saying? Don't harass a man. Don't har don't harass a woman. Straight up, like that shit weird as fuck. Like that's how people get hurt. You know what I'm saying? Then y'all be like, oh, why they did this to this person? Man, that motherfucker was harassing me. Like I don't know this nigga. I don't know this female. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like chill out, bro. Minutes, don't do that weird shit. Tired, bro. That is not Riz, bro. Riz, you know what I'm saying? He's he describing himself. Come on, bitch, bro. You you must be a newbie in this motherfucker if you think I'm. Chasing a bitch for 17 minutes. If you think I'm Come chasing him at all. Come on. No, not doing Jack, it. Tell this nigga, man. Not doing it, bro. Yeah, Billy. Don't do it. Yeah, Billy. That's really, that, and that's like, and, bro, that's, that's rich, bro. Come <laughs> on, you <laughs> say especially, especially if you an ugly nigga. <laughs> Yo, like, because if you an ugly nigga. Did you put him in that box? Nah, my boy. Uh, yo, yo, also two, also two. Right? He really trying to start some shit. Also two, though, right? And they said, he yo, didn't try yo, to talk. Bro, he... I've been begging for a barber in LA because this is my first month here. Okay. Bro, I, How you liking it? How you liking it, bro? It's... Oh, another thing. Hey, look. They finna just be talking about bullshit. I ain't gonna care. We gonna end the video right here. But I'm gonna let y'all boy know something. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you keep yourself groomed, bro. You want a female to look at you and take you serious, bro. Make sure you keep yourself groomed. Like for instance. Today is Saturday, you know what I'm saying? I normally don't go get haircuts on a Saturday because it be busy and I'm doing this right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm doing this rather than going to get a haircut. But just know, after I'm done with this, before I go to work, oh, for sure, I'm going to get myself right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm going to get straight. You know what I'm saying? Keep yourself groomed up. Keep a haircut on you every, at least every two weeks or, or every month. Get you a haircut, but keep yourself groomed. Keep yourself smelling good. Eat healthy. Drink a lot of water. Keep your skin clean. All that good shit. That's how a woman take you serious. That's how you know for a fact. Okay. I'm, I'm a man in this shit, you feel what I'm saying? No matter how you look, you know what I'm saying? That's part of Riz, too, keeping yourself, having self-love, you feel me? Because if you ain't got no self-love, ain't nobody else gonna show you no love. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. That's just a part of, that's just a part of the goddamn animal kingdom, you feel what I'm saying? But yeah, man, look, y'all enjoyed the video, man. Go ahead and hit that like, hit the subscribe button, turn that bell. It's your boy, Miss Corey. We on the way to 4K. I ain't mean to rhyme, you know what I'm saying? But let's get that shit, you know what I'm saying? Love y'all, man. Join the MK family, join the MKYT game, man. It's your fire. We got that thing. You know, kids.